The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Akmalul mu'minina imanan, ahsanuhum khuluqan, the best of all, the most complete believer is he who has most beautiful manners and character. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, it is one hadith actually, this is in the same hadith. He says, khayrukum, khayrukum li nisa'i. The best from amongst you all is the best towards his wife. So all Muslims, it is part of your religion to be good to your wife. wife. And he who is good to his wife is better than he who is not as good to his wife. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the best to his wives. And if he was the best to his wives, then we also must try to be good to our wives, be kind to your wives, be nice to your wives, and understand the rights of your wives, be delicate to your wives. And do you know how delicate the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was to his wives? Other women, even before the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam announced prophethood, other women used to say that how I wish he was my husband. They used to say how I wish that I was married to him. How I wish that he marries me. That was the character of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We should learn from this. And the women should also learn that they should not disrespect their males. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that a female must respect her husband in such a way that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says if I were to permit prostration for a human being, for another human being, then I would order the female to, her, to prostrate to her husband. That is how much respect a male has. And thus she should remember that respect. The male is the representative of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in your home. And the female should respect that. Al-rijalu qawwamuna ala nisa The male, the males are more superior than the women. But Islam caters for the women as well. If you look at the rights from my... When I have looked into the Islamic law, it seems as though women have more rights than males. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the ability to act upon Islam 